About 1,220 police personnel, drawn from 13 states, are currently undergoing training at the Police Mobile Training College at Enda Hills and Ila Urugu in Nasarawa State and Oshu States, respectively. The trainees include the new SWAT team, recently constituted by the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu. The Minister of Police Affairs, Mohamed Ding Yadi, visited the Police Mobile Training College to observe, inspect and supervise the training of the Special Weapons and Tactical Team, SWAT, put in place to replace the recently disbanded SARS. Adamu also yesterday approved the posting of Deputy Inspector General of Police DIG, Sanusi Lemu, as DIG in charge of the Department of Operations, and Assistant Inspector General of Police DIG, Usman Baba, as acting DIG in charge of finance and administration. Adamu encouraged the trainees to be professional in the discharge of their duties since the government was placing their welfare at top priority. He said the training would better equip them with the necessary skills in line with the best global practice. Joining us now is a security expert, Dr. Ona Ekomu. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, ma'am, for having me. All right, now, seeing videos from the training of SWAT officers didn't seem to have given a lot of excitement to Nigerians. Um, what do you think is to blame for this, and where is the government uh, similarly getting it wrong? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, well, I think um, we, well, let's, let's just back up a, a bit here. The first thing is that we need a tactical unit. We need special weapons and tactical capability because there are some very bad uh, actors out there, bad aggressors out there, very serious, deadly criminals who need to be um, engaged and uh, perhaps controlled also. So you need this capability. So we should not kid ourselves about that. Yes, I agree that SARS was, uh, uh, you know, it, it derailed along the way somewhere. And thank God the government in its uh, wisdom has scrapped it. But we need this capability. Now, how do you build capability? It's by training and retraining. So what uh, we saw uh, happening, I think, in Nasarawa was it is just the beginning of a process that will uh, equip these guys with the requisite skills and mindset to do the top job that they need to do. So I, I think uh, the Nigerians not being enthralled or being uh, uh, excited about uh, the training that's going on is just a normal thing because there's still a lot of uh, skepticism, perhaps if you like, anti-party toward the police agency and toward any agency of this type that is a type that takes on very violent criminals. But I think in time, people will realize that this is a job that is necessary. Somebody has to do this job, and the person to do this job must receive requisite training to do uh, uh, the job in a credible manner. In fact, that was part of the problem with the old stars. They, were, they, were, they did their work okay, but the training wasn't continuous enough to even get rid of some of their bad tendencies, as it were. All right, I, I'm going to just put something out there. If you go on social media, you see some photos, you know, comparing uh, what we see from the videos being shared on the, SAD, uh, the SWAT team training and what you see in other um, foreign, um, foreign con uh, countries where their tactical teams are being trained. So should um, we be putting more effort into weapons and tactics or into forensic and technological investigation? Uh, yes, well, <laughs> there are two or three things to deconstruct here. Now, first of all, we are not living uh, in America or Europe, wherever. So if those people want SWAT in America or Europe, let them go to America or Europe and go and do that SWAT. That is the first thing. We are in Nigeria, and we are constrained by so many things. We are constrained by resources, lack of resources. We are concerned by the kind of personnel that uh, is available to be recruited for this. We are concerned even by the knowledge of the trainer. So there are so many things we are constrained by here. Yet, there is something that uh, I can point out 
that is very important here. When Nigerian, in fact, a Nigerian lady, a uh, police lady, was voted as the best UN peacekeeper in the whole world recently. So that tells you something about Nigerians and about Nigeria police agencies. That lady that, was trained here. She was being trained by the, the Americans. You just um, alluded to earlier. You first off acknowledge that we are constrained by um, a lot of Resources. factors, and then we still. Uh, was, were able to bring someone um, out that has made us proud in the globe um, yes, uh, on the global scene. So, uh, how do you uh, connect the two? Um, why should we have issues of you know funding for proper training of our security forces, knowing how important it is? And I mean, that's the point of most of the protests that we've had over the uh, past weeks, agitating for better policing through improved um, remuneration and provision of technology. I, I agree with you, Ma. I, I, I'm still um, trying to make an argument here okay, that despite these constraints that we have in the system, particularly resource uh, constraints, that is, they don't have enough money to build props, even uh, teach people to do uh, proper training. You, all you need to do is go to police training schools and police training colleges in Nigeria, and you whip, you know, you say, is this where they really develop these people who come to guard us on the street? But be that as it may, there is something called the Nigerian spirit, which goes above, which transcends all these uh, resource constraints we have, and we still end up having a, a fairly or halfway decent police agency. So, having said that, that, that's why I was making reference to that lady, but you know, we, we have to work within what we have. What are the resources that are available to us? Yes, the, like the NSAS process uh, created awareness in the government that there was need to better fund the police. And I believe that's one of the five for five uh, um, agenda that was set. You know, the, that awareness has been created. Now we need to hold the government's foot to the fire. Let the government provide enough. So this is where we go to the technology that you were talking about. Because, because we are not a net producer of technologies, we are a consumer of technologies. We mean we have to buy. And buy means you have to have the money to buy. You know, so those are the constraints that we have here. But I, I right. believe by and large, I mean, they are just starting. Um, we, we, they are just time, starting the training. That's what you're and it will take time uh, to get to even those places where they are going to use those technological inputs. And at that All time... Right. The proper arrangements will have been made. Doctor, I'm, I'm sorry that's the much time we have, but we thank you very much for your thoughts. Thank you, madam, for having me. It's our pleasure to take care.